Rookie Friend. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your performance slash FPS in the new Doom. Uh, you have to remember Doom doesn't use um, the Unreal Engine. They have their own uh, property engine called ID Tech. So I don't have the same flexibility than other games when I'm trying to search for like config file and stuff like that. So uh, the first thing that I've found for this game is uh, you can see in C drive user, the name of the user, save games, ID software, Doom base, you will see a config. But the thing is in the config file, you will not see some graphic parameter parameter uh, except here. Uh, those are pretty basic. So yes, you can change it, but uh, it will not, you can't do very much with this. So just for now. Uh, also, what you guys can try, you can set a set launch option. Uh, the famous use available all available cores. Uh, that one I got like six FPS increase with this. That's very weird. I thought the game uh, didn't need those set of uh, launch option, but I don't know. I got like a huge gain. And you can use the shader four SM four. Uh, to, to try to improve it. It works with a lot of game, but I didn't see an improvement for Doom. So maybe try it if you have an older card, uh, video card, so uh, you will be have some gain. So now I will try to show you in the game what kind, what like the graphic that you can lower without sacrificing your uh, game and image quality when you're playing, but you will gain like more FPS. So first of all, for sure, Resolution it impact a lot your uh, your uh, FPS, but uh, for me I can't play <laughs> lower than uh, 1080p. So you will see if you have a really bad computer, maybe you can lower this. Make sure your vertical sync is up for sure. Anti-aliasing each bracket you will gain five to eight FPS depending of your video card. Me right now I'm using SMAA because TSS. I uh, use a lot of uh, my, uh, I have an old R9-280X and uh, for a reason that I don't know, this kind of settings works better on NVIDIA card. So uh, if you have a, a, I don't know, 980Ti, something like that, you can use it for sure. <laughs> uh, gamma doesn't change anything. Motion blur, if you don't like the effect, you can go to off. Uh, you know, uh, the motion blur effect is when you, when you move and you see like some shh color and some like how, how can i say that sorry i'm french but it's, it's kind of like uh blurry when you move uh just to remove motion blur from doom i got like three fps when i was playing the game so it's pretty good if you don't like the effect uh chromatic aberration didn't see any uh performance increase feel of view it's just the feel of view when you're playing the game so doesn't change anything so after that overall quality Resolution scale, you will see a big increase if you lower this, but the thing is you will see uh, a big decrease in your game quality for the graphic. So if you have a really bad computer, you can use this. You will gain a lot of FPS, but uh, graphic will look like crap. Shadow quality, for that one, go to low if you have a pretty bad computer. I gained three to four FPS for each bracket. So shadows for me is not something important. So if you go to low, you will gain a lot of FPS. Uh, it's pretty sad that you can't modify this in the config file and just remove it uh, like other games like H1Z1 or Ark or uh, The Calling, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Player self-shadow, that one. Two FPS just to remove it. So, again, if you have a bad computer, remove this. Light quality, uh, I didn't see a big increase. Normally, you, you see three to four FPS for each bracket. Uh, on Doom, I see one to two, depending of the scene. So uh, for that, that one, you can change it, but it's not like a big, uh, it's not a big game player. After that, uh, directional occlusion quality uh, and decal quality, one to two FPS for each bracket. So that one, you can, uh, depending of what you need in your game and what kind of graphic you like, you can change it, but it's not a big deal. Uh, for, for the for this type of graphic too. Du, du, du. Reflection quality, that one is a you you will gain a huge chunk of gram improvement. If you go to off, you can gain eight to ten FPS, so it's a lot. And uh, low, medium, and high, you will gain three to four FPS for each. So that one is a pretty big deal. 
for that one, for a reason that, that I don't know, particle quality, I got like, uh, it's like one FPS for each bracket on my AMD video card. But on my, in my other computer, it's an NVIDIA card. I got two to three FPS increasing. So if you have an NVIDIA, I don't know why, but uh, you can get like more FPS with this, a lot more. Motion blur quality, like I told you, if you don't like the effect, go to low and remove it in the video section. Uh, it will help a lot your computer. Depth of fill and depth of fill anti-aliasing. Uh, those ones are weird. Normally depth of fill and depth of, but not anti-aliasing, but just depth of fill. You have like some kind of range that you can choose which, uh, what kind of depth of fill you want, like more or less. So now you just have a, a option uh, remove or in so uh, again if you have like a really low computer you should remove this one and this one and you will depending on your video card if it's old or not you will gain four to five fps so yeah that's about it if you want statistic like this it's pretty nice you can choose what kind of like a show performance you want so low is just fps uh, medium you get like more information I think and I you get everything so uh, temp of your car uh, using percentage and uh, all those kind of stuff so it's pretty nice when you want to test uh, the your graphic setting so it's a really good uh, add-on on the PC version of it so yeah that's about it guys if you have any comment you can comment in my YouTube section uh, post me your rig and I will try to answer the best that I can if you have any question to how to improve your performance don't forget to up, uh, upgrade you for your new driver. AMD and NVIDIA just publish uh, new drivers and uh, it's it will improve your compatibility with the game and you for sure will you will gain 10 to 15% boost to the performance. So make sure you're updating your drivers. And that's about it. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Ciao.